Twin Falls, Idaho is a booming town surrounded by immense natural beauty. In this video, we'll show you the top 8 places you must visit in and near Twin Falls. Be sure to watch until the end where we visit one of the coolest and wildest caves in the country. Idaho is full of raw beauty and rousing adventures. This is our first time to explore the state of Idaho, so we're super excited to experience all the amazing places we've read about in our research. Our first stop today is Shoshone Falls. We're in Twin Falls, Idaho, and this is Shoshone Falls, one of the most impressive falls in the United States. It looks like they're going through a bit of a drought right now because we've seen videos and photos of the falls being much fuller, but it's still very beautiful and impressive. Shoshone Falls is often called the Niagara of the West because it is one of the biggest waterfalls in the whole country. Surprisingly, at 200 feet tall, Shoshone Falls is actually a little taller than Niagara Falls, which is about 188 feet at its highest point, but of course much wider. The volume of Shoshone Falls largely depends on how much snow the area receives in the winter, and the falls are the fullest in spring. In the summer, as shown here, one side of the falls is dry because some of the water upstream on the Snake River is being diverted for crop irrigation. Shoshone Falls Park is a beautiful place to enjoy with family, and it's so nice to see kids and dogs and everybody enjoying a breezy evening out here. And I really like it because it's so green, there are beautiful trees, swallows flitting around everywhere, and you can even feel the spray of the waterfall, which is nice because it's actually very sunny. So we really enjoyed this park, and now we're gonna go to our next stop. The Perrine Bridge, a super amazing bridge over the Snake River Canyon. And you can get this amazing view right at the entrance to Centennial Waterfront Park. Something really cool about this bridge is that the original version was built in 1927. This one was built in the 70s to update it. The Perrine Bridge is an impressive truss arch bridge which towers almost 500 feet above the Snake River Canyon, making it the eighth tallest bridge in the USA. There are so many vantage points where you can observe the bridge from different angles. When you're in Twin Falls, you have to go see the base jumpers jump off the bridge. We experienced this amazing show from a view in the park across from the mall. It's awe-inspiring to see these brave people jump and skillfully navigate to a landing pad in the park below. We just saw like five base jumpers jump off the Perrine Bridge. It was so cool! It's amazing how they all can like navigate to land in the right place in the park. <laughs> it was really fun to watch. Another must-see site in Twin Falls is a spectacular tall waterfall called the Perrine Coulee Falls. beautiful Perrine Calus Falls. These waterfalls are about 200 feet tall and they are so magnificent. It's one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've ever seen in my life. And something really cool is it's a very short hike and we can actually go walk behind the falls. Let's go do it. The unique basalt column cliff behind the falls gives them a very Icelandic vibe. And they remind me of the fabulous waterfall Svartafoss that we were hoping to see on our Iceland honeymoon that we had to cancel because of COVID. The Perrine Coulee waterfall looks natural and remote, but it's easily accessible from the road, which has a few parking spots. This area is easy to get to, yet can be very dangerous for people who aren't careful. We actually saw a guy almost fall into the pool below because he was trying to take a selfie on a slippery rock. Idaho's untamed beauty inspires respect for nature. We're having dinner at Anchor Bistro. This place has amazing reviews and a really great menu. And it definitely looks like it's the place to be on Friday night in Twin Falls. Gabby, is that spicy? Gabby got hiccups from the spicy jalapenos.
Just an hour and a half from Twin Falls, you can find a totally unexpected landscape at the Bruneau Dune State Park. In the visitor center, you can enjoy their collection of Idaho fossils and animals, buy some cool souvenirs, and even rent a sandboard. We're at the Bruneau Dune State Park. This park is really interesting because there are these huge sand dunes in the middle of nowhere, and it really makes you wonder how they got there. We rented a sandboard so Gabby can do some sand sledding. This looks like a really popular activity to do here with kids, and I would love to do it too if, if I wasn't pregnant, because it's probably not the safest activity, but I'm super excited to see Gabby go down the hill, and we'll see how graceful he is. At the top of the dunes, the shifting sandy landscape and biting wind makes you feel like you're in an African desert. The views from the top are well worth a strenuous hike and will literally take your breath away. So this is a super fun state park to take your kids to to do some sand sledding. Just get here early to beat the heat and make sure you put a lot of wax on that sand sled so they can get some good speed going down the hill. There's also a lot of hiking trails here, but we feel like we got a good enough hike just going up to the top of the dune once. On the way back to Twin Falls, we go by the Malad Gorge unit of Thousand Springs State Park, which is midway between the Bruno Dunes and Twin Falls. This is the Devil's Wash Bowl at Malad Gorge, and it's an amazing sight to see. Malad Gorge is a pristine section of the Snake River with dramatic canyon views. Again, this part of Idaho reminds me a little bit of the famous basalt canyons of Iceland. This area is so remote and the park doesn't seem to ever get crowded. The wild rocky cliffs, rushing waterfalls, and bright green river make you really feel the grandeur and power of nature. This is the Thousand Springs State Park Malad Gorge unit. The Thousand Springs State Park has several different areas, and from our research, this seemed to be the most awesome one. We are so glad we came here because this is really cool. It's just kind of a drive, and there are different like overlooks you can stop at, so you don't really have to hike. But the view here is one of those rare views that actually looks way cooler in person than in photos. And it's so beautiful because down in the river, it's so bright green. Like it looks like really clean, pure water to have that vegetation growing down there. So this is a must visit. This is really pretty. Our next stop is the waterfall that gave Twin Falls its name. This is Twin Falls Park, not to be confused with Shoshone Falls Park. In order to get here, put Twin Falls Power Plant in your GPS, and it's going to be just a couple of miles down the road from Shoshone Falls Park. This is actually the waterfall that Twin Falls was named after because it used to be two waterfalls right next to each other, but they dammed one of them up to make the power plant. The waterfall that's still here is really stunning and quite large, and the whole landscape is just beautiful, so this park is definitely worth a visit. Twin Falls and its surrounding views of the rocky hills and rushing Snake River are breathtakingly beautiful. The Snake River is the lifeblood of Idaho's economy, providing electricity and irrigation to farmlands. 
It's one of the most important rivers in the Pacific Northwest. Just 45 minutes north of Twin Falls, you can have a completely unforgettable experience at the impressive Mammoth Cave. This is the Mammoth Cave in Idaho. This is a huge lava tube formed by an ancient volcano. And this cave was actually discovered in 1954 by a man named Richard Olson, who was a really interesting character. He discovered this cave in high school while exploring the area and hunting for bobcats. And he loved it so much that he wanted to be able to share it with the public. And the first thing he did was homestead it by growing mushrooms in the cave. And eventually he went on to build a house here with his family. And in the 1960s, the government asked him to use this cave as like a fallout shelter where they stored supplies and food for 8,000 people. So, and now it's a public attraction and it's a really fun place to visit. The whole area is super fun. There are peacocks and emus and it's really eccentric and wacky. And I just am having so much fun at this place. is a wild experience. It feels like you're journeying to the center of the earth or something. Like if you're not a spelunker, this is probably the closest you can get to being in a huge natural cave. It's so, so cool. And some of the parts of the ceiling are shiny with minerals. And it's just a really impressive long cave that's really tall at some points. It really, really sparks your imagination. The Shoshone Bird Museum is well worth a visit too, because its slightly disorganized eccentric collection of fossils and taxidermy is fascinating and highly entertaining. There's even a case of multi-headed animals. This was a fascinating experience. I highly recommend coming here. If you're headed farther east, the Craters of the Moon National Monument is a very interesting place to explore. This is called Craters of the Moon, but it's not barren at all. It's full of wildlife, beautiful trees, and beautiful wildflowers. Unfortunately, we won't be able to go in any of the caves because the park ranger told us that if you've been in another cave within the last couple of days, you can't go in because there's this fungus that's spreading from cave to cave that's killing bats. And since we were just in the Mammoth Cave, we're not gonna be able to do the caves today. But we're going to check out some beautiful hiking trails and walk up a cinder cone. This is the Devil's Orchard. It's a short hike where you can get up close and personal with all the beautiful wildflowers in this park. This is such a cool lava rock. I think it looks like a triceratops. The blanket of white flowers on this black cinder cone is so stunning. The black lava rock terrain is surprisingly full of life. The bright wildflowers contrast cheerily with the wild shapes of this otherworldly landscape. Twin Falls, Idaho is a fabulous town to visit. It has a booming economy and friendly people, and it's surrounded by unbelievably diverse natural attractions. Our next stop on our epic western U.S. road trip is Grand Teton National Park, a wonderland of natural beauty full of epic wildlife like bears and moose. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. In the meantime, go out, live, explore, and enjoy the beautiful places all around you.